Wait, it's from YouTube. Hello. So as you can see from the title of the video, I am planning on doing the second part of my weapon ban series. So today I'm going to be addressing some of the major arguments by gun control activists and showing why they don't quite hold up. I could only really think of two main arguments. The first was that we need to be protected from weapons. The second is that Guns are substantially more lethal than other types of weapons. The first one is true, kind of, and the second one is just false. Now, people say that we need to be protected from weapons. Well, you can't really ban all weapons. Sorry. If you ban guns, people will start using knives. If you ban knives, then we don't have things to cook with. And yes, a kitchen knife can easily be used to kill someone. Probably just as easily, if not more easily, than a folding knife or whatever they're called. Pocket knife. Second argument is that guns are substantially more lethal than other types of weapons. Now I understand why this misconception exists. It seems logical that if we would use a weapon in a military situation, it would be a better weapon than the weapons we're not using in a military situation. And yes, for a well-trained individual, guns are substantially more lethal than knives or swords or bows and arrows. The problem is most common criminals aren't very highly trained. Which means they're taking a gun which they know how to use but not how to aim, and if they actually end up firing, they're shooting rather randomly. So yes, it can still kill someone, but it won't kill someone nearly as well as if they had a knife and they got close to someone. Especially think about it this way. I have a knife. Stab, slice. Just that motion. And there's now a wound like this big in my opponent. Gun. Bang, bang. Same amount of time. At most two holes like this big. The gun, the knife slash is substantially more effective, does more damage at a close range. And like a lot of crime is done in close range. So yes, guns can be more effective if you know how to use them, but not everyone is very well trained in using them. And so, it, and so unless you're well trained, it is not necessarily a more effective weapon. So they shouldn't outright be banned, and there's nothing evil about them. The problem is mainly just that people think they're scary. And so yes, if a random criminal who has no idea what he's doing is going to use some sort of weapon to commit a crime, he's probably going to choose a gun, because he thinks it's a more lethal weapon. But it's not always, especially in most common situations for crimes, like trying to rob someone. Also, if they're a highly trained individual, they can probably get their hands on a gun anyways. Let's just be honest. If someone's highly trained enough to actually be able to use a gun effectively, and they want to commit a crime, they will probably get their hands on a gun. Because criminals do not follow the rules. Like, that's just how they're defined. There are people who don't follow the rules. So if you make a rule saying that you can't have a gun, they're going to disobey that rule. Oh, so, yeah. I'm going to finish the series in part three, where I discuss my proposal for weapons rules, also why the current weapon rules system is incredibly dumb and makes my brain hurt because it's so incredibly stupid. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and if you want to keep learning or just laughing at my stupidity, which will also happen quite frequently after I'm done with this series, or you want to watch the D&D series that I'm working on, 
please subscribe. Also, links to the D&D thing will be below. In the doobly-doo. Don't forget to be awesome, and until we meet again, farewell.